Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight, and I am down in Mobile, Alabama, at the home of Continental Aerospace Technologies. I'm here for the opening of their brand new manufacturing facility. During its construction and development, it was known under its code name as Blue Marlin, but now it's Building One, and they're having their grand opening, so it is time to go in and see how all of these new engines are getting made. They are all going to be manufactured in this one plant now, from their traditional product line to all of their aftermarket market prime parts as well as their Titan product line all in one modern facility so let's get in and see how things are happening down here at Continental hi Chris how are you doing doing great Jeff thanks for coming down thank you so much for having me down here to see this uh, incredible new facility so I mean from the outside uh, obviously I haven't seen anything yet but it's enormous and it's new and it's so cool to see something like that in general aviation Absolutely. It, it's been fantastic for our team members and for some of the customers that have already come by. When you come up over that bridge and you see the brand new logo that's out there, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. And that's what struck me. I mean, the last time that I was down here, we got a really extensive tour of your factory, how you build these engines, how everything was done for our social flights, 836 Bonanza and the IO550B that's in there. And now we get to see the next phase of what's happening at Continental Aerospace Technologies. Yes, it, it's an exciting time for us and we can't wait to show you existing state and some of the new machines that are already operational here in, in the headquarters. Okay, so let's get started. We said you're going to take us through a couple different uh, areas and, and different things that are being made and we're going to start at the old factory and then we're going to go through and, and go to the new one. Yes, we're going to look at uh, barrel machining and cranks because those are the first cells that are in the new building right now. Excellent, let's get started. Alrighty, thanks. Jeff, we're here at the barrel machining line of the current factory. Okay. In about 3,000 square feet, we have eight different machines. We take in that raw forging that you see right behind you, come out, machine through each different station for a complete finished machine barrel. In the new factory, we go through one machine, raw forging to complete finish. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, it's, it's pretty wild to see this raw forging that comes in and, and know that this basically almost jewel-like finished cylinder comes out at the end of this process. But obviously you've got a lot of people working on it. You've got a lot of steps. There's a lot of movement that happens with this. And this is what went into the cylinders that are on our A36 right now. Absolutely. One of the biggest benefits of the new factory is going to be ergonomics and safety for our team members where they're having to lift each one of these parts through the eight different machines to yeah. get the complete. We're gonna put one forging into the machine and the complete finished product comes out of that machine, all robotic control. Wow, and does it make it easier also, I know that obviously there are so many different engines and parts, does it make it easier to produce all the different parts that way? Absolutely, that was the flexibility that we put into the, the new factory mm -hmm. is where it will take hours for us to switch over from a 550 to a prime right. to a 360 cylinder. It takes hours. In the new factory on that new machine, 15 minutes from one change to another. Wow, that's gonna have a big impact on parts availability, I would I, think. Absolutely. It really will help us out be more responsive to change. Excellent. Well, I love cylinders, but I wanna see what's in the guts of the engine. So let's go take a look at camshafts and cranks. We'll go right over there now. Excellent. So Chris, this is exciting. I mean, I'm looking around and, you know, as a mechanic, as a pilot, as an enthusiast, it is so neat to see all the components that go inside the engine, especially starting with the crankshaft at its core. And this is where, I'm looking around, there's like, there's people, there's machines everywhere that turn these uh, forgings into finished product on both cranks and cams all around here. And all this is going to change? Absolutely. We're over 15,000 square feet, more than a dozen machines to take forgings into finished product. When we go over to the new facility, that's four machines. Wow. That's impressive. And uh, the, I assume the same as what you talked about over with cylinders, it's going to improve what you can do as far as going from one type of engine to another as well. Absolutely. Where changeovers take a day or so here from go to one model to another, in the new factory, it's one hour to change from one unit to the other. And whereas in this facility, some of our machines, we have no redundancy. If that machine goes down, we have delays to our customers. Wow. In the new factory, we have complete redundancy. So if one machine goes down, we move the production to the other one with a one hour changeover. That's, Im that's impressive. All right. Well, I'm excited. I'm ready. Let's get to that new factory. We can't wait to show you. Let's go over. 
So Jeff, we're here in the new headquarters, Building One, and we're at the barrel machining line. So whereas we just came from the existing factory, eight different machines, each doing a different process, this one machine here does all of those processes. So raw forging in, finished barrel out. Wow, it is so amazing to see this enormous facility. And of course, we're just getting started with the manufacturing going on, and so we've got these stations, and uh, they're like surgically clean. And, and, and you see coming in on a pallet, this raw forging, getting ready, and then you're gonna have a pallet of finished product that comes out at the end, all in one machine. Absolutely, so these are the raw forgings. There's one pallet here, there's another pallet in the back. So while this is getting loaded up with forgings, the back one has the finished product. Product. And all in this one machine with a changeover of 15 minutes wow. versus hours. That is really impressive. And I see one single lonely little finished product here. What's that for? So we take our, one of the runs is going to come right off that conveyor belt for verification with our quality and CMM at station. Instead of going to our quality department, the machine pulls out that one and then the inspector will, will verify it here and then that releases the lot. Wow, that's really cool. And so basically you're just running, running, running in this one machine and the machine itself sits there, grabs a part at random, puts it on this little conveyor and says, here you go, check my work. Absolutely. That's really cool. The quality is gonna be there, the cycle time's there and it's better for our team members. Wow. So Jeff, we're here at Cranks and Cams, where in the existing facility, it was more than a dozen machines. Yeah. We have two out of the four. So we're going from more than a dozen to four, and two are already here installed. Wow, and now do you do cranks on one and cams on another, or how do you do that? So really, it's, it's part of our new philosophy is that absolute redundancy. So cams or cranks can be done in each machine, whereas wow. we had that one place where we could, we could fall, right? right? If that machine goes down, no production. We can go from one machine to the other and the changeover is about an hour, whereas changeovers are almost a day now on the current system. Wow, and that includes changeover from like a four-cylinder crankshaft to a six-cylinder crankshaft, all the way from forging to the finished product or camshafts, right? Camshafts could be a little bit longer from a cam to a, a crank, but it, uh -huh. again, a, a couple hours at most versus a day or two. Wow, and it is amazing that it is this one machine again. It seems like the whole world is evolving that way. Yes, where these are doing the grinding, the millers are coming next, and between those two machines and these machines here, 12 down to four. Wow, well I'll tell you, it. This entire tour has been so amazing just to see this and, and really especially in seeing this kind of investment is, is just fantastic. So I, I just want to say thank you so much for having me down here. It's uh, been great to have another visit here at Continental Aerospace Technologies. To be able to see investment in general aviation is just, that that's the big thing for me. Uh, this, we have a small industry, right? And, and to see this much money going in and, and transforming the quality and the future of the products and all the innovation that can happen based on this is really exciting. And it's something that I think about pretty much any time that I either work on the IO 550B that's in our Bonanza or that we're flying it. And so from Social Flight, I just want to say thank you for having us down here. Absolutely, Jeff. Always a pleasure to have you. And Continental and all of our team members are really excited, not only for us, but for our customers. Yeah, that's really great. So we'll be back again. We'll take you on more tours, more expansion, especially as we come down, because this is just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning. This is the ribbon cutting. We already have some machines operational, finishing up the pre-production, but in, an, in about another month, We'll have more machines up and running. Some are getting delivered today. Wow, so for all of you watching, the next time that you come down here and you have an opportunity to see the factory, the next time that we produce something from down here, we won't have nearly this floor space. You see the efficiency that happens with some of these incredibly modern uh, machines that are putting everything together. And soon this entire facility that used to be Blue Marlin and is now building one will be completed. Absolutely. All right, for Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.